Do you think there's a solution for people who want to get uh, those expensive cars on payment plans other than make better choices and buy less expensive ones? No. Make better choices and buy less expensive ones. Please. There's no... You don't need... First of all, you don't need a new car. You don't. You don't need a new one. Like, I'm not even like buying used. You can buy cars that aren't like current year, but aren't used. That's possible. It can be done. It's not undoable, you know? Um, and a lot of used cars are fine. Like, used cars get a shady reputation because there are so many places you can get them. You can get a used car that isn't shady, you know? It's, it's not that difficult. Well, you need a reliable car. Cars have been reliable for 40 years. Seriously. Like, modern... As long as you're not doing some weirdo, like, copycat Russian, whatever... Like, main cars. Like, cars that are made by companies that you know about. For the most part, like, cars have been reliable for decades. Cars rarely break down. Hello to Hyundai and Kia. No, I'm not saying that it's impossible... No, I'm familiar. I know Tempest. I'm saying that, like, under good circumstances, if you get, like, just a well-maintained used car, cars are more reliable. I just, I feel like a lot of people are still, you know, they think of, like, junker cars from, like, 70s or 80s or whatever, where it's like, yeah, cars didn't used to be, you know, built as well as they are now. Tempest uh, recently got a used car that, like, exploded immediately, and um, he had no recourse but to, like, donate it, like, the, the part of it that didn't explode. I'm saying exploded euphemistically, guys. People treat their cars like shit. Yeah, how often do you guys actually get your oil changed? Be honest. Come on, guys. How often do you get your oil changed? When was the last time you had your your wheels rotated? How, how often do you pour coolant in? Come on, come on. I change mine yearly. Okay. Once a year? Really? Okay. Whatever. Whatever, man. Once every two, one or two year? You know it doesn't take long, right? And if you can, do, if you do it yourself and you do what what you should, which is dump the used motor oil directly onto your lawn, um, like you can do it like pretty, pretty easy. Once a day, there we go. Once a day, that's what I want to see. Most people don't drive more than five k miles a year. I guess that's true. I could be biased from my LA upbringing a little bit. Pretty sure most things are based on mileage, not time. Yeah, but a lot of people don't like keep track of their mileage. So I'm just yes. Please don't actually dump your used motor oil on your lawn. Bring it to the same place you bring your uh, empty car batteries, the ocean, and dump it there. Lamau, that's not true. More like 12K plus an average. I mean, it depends. It depends. I'm directly into well water. Yeah. Can you still change the oil on modern cars yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to change your oil every 12K kilometers or once a year, whichever comes first. I heard 6,000 miles, not 12K kilometers, but I mean, whatever. Um, it varies. It varies. Cars are so expensive to maintain, though. They're really not, though. Car... Cars are expensive to maintain if you don't maintain them. As long as you keep the coolant topped off uh, and, and you change the oil, like, you know, regularly enough, you don't get those bigger issues. Like, all the other issues you get with, like, your, your radiator and your, your transmission and everything, like, those can be because you're not topping the oil off or whatever else. Yeah, no, I know Girl with Guitar. It's pretty funny. Wheels are the biggest killer. I mean, it depends on where you're driving, you know? Is there a mandatory car checkup in the U.S.? Depends on uh, what state you're in. Also get car washes. I've never gotten a car wash. I, I reject this bourgeois uh, ornamentation, you know? I, I, I have a, a druidic car, you see. Uh, a, a, a whole forest is growing on it. Also, it rains in Seattle. Cars are expensive. I mean, yeah, but can't you get a pretty good... Uh, like, let me think. If you were getting, like, a Toyota... Um, Toyota uh, uh, car lineup. Just currently available. Things that are still sold officially. Okay, uh, a Toyota Camry base MSRP is twenty six thousand, and that's a twenty twenty four model. You know, um, you know, a four four seater sedan. You know, you can get a lot done with that. Just a base Toyota Camry. The the problem is car costs keep going up and up. APR. Well, I mean that depends on you, right? But like it's twenty six thousand. That's that's pretty cheap for a car. Yeah, and that's the twenty twenty four one, right? Like, what if you went further back? Um, you might not be able to see that in the website. That would be like you go to a dealership and it's like, oh, we have a 2023 or 2022 model. A Corolla hybrid starting at 23,000, hatchback 23,000, 2024 Corolla 22,000. Toyota Corolla is the true dad vehicle. I mean, you know, if they're, if they're effective and they do what they do, right? Toyota certified used vehicles. Okay. Toyota wants to know my location. Nice try. Trying to dox me. Okay. Looking at like the local used... Yeah, there's stuff that's around 20k here, but there's also stuff that's like 50k, you know? It's just a matter of, um, wait, what if I, like, search for cheapest? What's the cheapest-ass used car that you can get in the whole state of Washington? Let's see. Maximum price, 25,000. Line that shit up.
gold certified, 20,000, 21,000. Yeah, yeah, you could you could get this. I'm not saying, oh, here's some for 19,000. A 2015 uh, Prius? Look, all I'm saying is that don't feel pressured to go out there and buy, like, the shiniest car.